Hi guys, uh, today we're going to play a bit with our friend uh, Captain Marvel. Essentially the last time I thought we would do the, the Aquaman missions, it turns out we did the, the Raven missions instead. So, but before we get started, let's go see if we can get lucky in the vault today. So let's get out of here and let's see what we got in the vault today. Well, we got some gloves tile, a chest we already have, oh, some boots, some pants we already have, and a head headset we a headgear we don't have. Well, so for three out of five, it I guess it ain't bad. Uh, we're going to be able to sell this Cola Classic. Uh, let's go and oh, let's go and do that. Uh, and let's repair a bit. And we already have the mission uh, fish food. So we can go straight to, oh yeah, we don't have the mod. I guess I'm gonna have to get some uh, teleporter mod for our friend uh, Captain Lightning. Well, we'll see. So the best place to start would be, uh, Oh, let's go to Chinatown. Essentially, we are, we're going pretty much halfway between Chinatown and uh, Little Bohemia, but it's a bit closer to Chinatown, I think. Hi there, just started doing uh, a mission or two with our, our friend uh, Captain Lightning. We heard something. There it is. The Atlanteans are invading and turning innocents into water breathing slaves. We must find Aquaman. And let's go let's go get the side quest that's over here. Nor is it not to.
and we have a few friends with us. Which either sometimes makes it easier or makes it more challenging if you have to compete for the same uh, the same objectives. In this case, it seems to make it easier. Uh, they don't either. They don't need the, the to collect uh, the kill they, they're doing, or they just don't care. It happens. So oh, one of our friend uh, did bite off more than he could chew. So many choice. Who do we fight? There's so many of them here.
Almost done. I guess I pulled uh, no oh, I got lucky. No, I didn't get lucky. I pulled too many mobs, uh, it happens. And we got a mark of victory in a little belt. So let's see. It's a it's a nice upgrade. Oh, and so is that ring. So the second part of the mission is nearby. Oh, and we got a belt too. Why not? Uh, it is a nice upgrade too. So any upgrade, no matter how, how small it is, is a good upgrade. No better an upgrade than a downgrade. Although sometimes it, it may be uh, difficult to tell uh, which is which. Uh, when half the staff seems to be an up, half the, the stats seems to be an upgrade and the other half sometimes seems to be a downgrade, uh, it can be hard to tell sometimes. So let's try and stick to the edge of the, the area so that we don't get hopefully overwhelmed uh, by too many mobs. And let's get started. Let's try and clear out uh, whatever enemies are here. So that we can uh, save our little friends. And it never fails as you're fighting uh, one enemy, another spawn uh, halfway through the fight. Let's be a, <clears throat> let's be a bit more adventurous and uh, 
I'm in the middle. Essentially, you have to go where the obje objectives are. But ideally, uh, you try to go for objectives that will uh, be located where you're not going to be overwhelmed too much by the, the mobs. Which sometimes is a tall order. If you guys aren't too familiar with uh, Captain Marvel, a good series to try would be uh, a four-issue miniseries called uh, Shazam and the Monster Society of Evil, or something like that. If I'm, it's by uh, creator Jeff Smith, who also did uh, the series Ball, and it's uh, it's one of the most fun uh, Captain Marvel or a slash Shazam story we've had in. Uh, in quite a while. It's not that old, so it probably isn't that difficult to find. But then again, uh, right now DC seems to be uh, pushing their their character as being Shazam now. So maybe uh, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe that that series is uh, a bit out of uh, out of print. Which sadly happens uh, sometimes. Uh, sometimes uh, publishers, in order to push the latest version of their character, will discontinue the older version. Like they, they let's say they, let's say there's a, I think there's a new one shot with Shazam that's coming up. But a publisher like DC might be tempted to uh, leave any other Shazam comic out of print in order to push the, the latest Shazam comic they have, if it makes any sense. But if, if somehow it's uh, it's no longer in, in print, uh, it's hopefully not too difficult or expensive to find on uh, either eBay or any such outlet. That's a that's a pretty fun series. It would be easy to dismiss it as being uh, too juvenile, I suppose. But it's a it's one of the nicest representation of uh, Captain Marvel that we've had in, in quite a long time. Uh, let's refill my stack of colas. Although I probably should have uh, upgraded my colas by now, but no, uh, I'll do that uh, next time. It doesn't really matter. Worst comes to worst, we'll die maybe a bit more than we would like to. But it, it shouldn't stop us from being able to being able to complete our missions. And we're getting close to being uh, level 30. 
So let's see, we need those artifacts. Again, we need the stones. We need to defeat the, sla the slavers. So there's, a, there's a, quite a lot we need to do. As usual in most area, we have uh, a lot more than just one objective. So we can complete multiple objectives uh, at the same time. Which is why it's uh, it's usually a good idea to get the the side quests, any side missions there might be in this area to to get it before we actually get started, so that we can we can start doing all the missions at the same time. But it's eh, it's not a big deal. Uh, let's say you get started and then only after the fact that you realize that there is a side mission, uh, it, it it's not a big deal. It's not like it'll take you forever to to get caught up. Uh, with the new objectives. And when I was a wee young lad, uh, we did have a, a pretty fun uh, Captain Marvel TV series. Well, it probably was called the Shazam. It's been a while since I, I've seen it. But it was, uh, of course, by now it, by today's standard, it it's, it surely is uh, it, it surely is dated. But uh, at the time we, it was at the time it was a good series. But I would not suggest uh, that series unless you're uh, unless you're able to look at uh, older TV series uh, objectively. Why is she attacking me? She's so mean. Almost there. Just one more of each, and we'll be we'll be good. Martian manhunter deciphered some Atlantean thoughts before they shut him out. They say Queen Nira is causing this war, and Aquaman is her devoted slave. Slave, huh? Anyone else find that suspicious? Here's our last artifact. Oh, and we have a collection also. Ah, crap. Yeah, I hate it too when the targeting system does that. I'll teach me not to lock on the target first. So let's collect that. Ah, new ring. And we're good to go, I suppose. Um.
again, we will have a side quest here that we can take before we enter. So, but first, let's collect our investigation. Let's see. Uh, oh, I have uh, 71 marks of victory. I'm not sure if we could start. Uh, I thought we could start maybe getting our white mods. Well, we could have to just sock it. Uh, I guess not yet, but soon we're, we're, we should be able to get our white mods and uh, make our character a bit more powerful. Uh, I can't attack our friend. Uh, Martian Manhunter. Eons ago, there were a few games where you could literally attack any any NPCs in the game. And sadly, that it would lead to essentially the game being game over or if it was even if it wasn't game over you could not progress any further because you had killed an important NPC but it was fun for a while but uh, at some point games uh, starting making some of their NPCs uh, idiot proof I suppose so that people wouldn't uh, destroy them, wouldn't uh, kill the wrong NPC and then end up uh, complaining that the game is bugged uh, because they cannot complete it. Which I, I can easily understand. Uh, I guess from a developer standpoint, it must be annoying uh, to have uh, sometimes players uh, call a game buggy when I, the actual bug is, is not that the game is buggy but that it's that they they, they they made a foolish decision but then again you never really want to tell your customers that they're wrong so instead of uh, Telling players that they're wrong, you just make the game idiot-proof, and that solves most of the problem. Doesn't seem to be anything else, so let's let's keep going. There you go. I'll teach him to be a turtle. You'll probably notice uh, through these videos that I don't like turtles much. It's not that uh, turtling it in itself is not not an issue. The real problem is that uh, for, for quite some time in PvP, uh, at least 90% of the players, that's all they would do. They, they would turtle up and, and not do anything. They would, they, would, they would hold the block button uh, for dear life and never let go of it.
So what seemed like a, a fun mechanic that uh, that is a bit different than uh, what you've seen in other games. Pretty much became something that uh, people were overusing, I suppose, is, would be the right... Uh, not quite the right word, but it, it's as close as I can think of. So by itself, blocking is fine. The problem is that some that's all some players were, were doing. So it got a bit annoying after a while. But it pretty much led to, to me essentially developing the habit of block breaking uh, or spamming a block, block break or using powers at block break. As you see, some powers aren't that bad at giving health back, even if you're playing as a, as a DPS. Somehow, even if you go above the the animation effect, it seems to still affect you. Nah. No big deal. Just a bit uh, annoying when it happens. And we got a new feat. Let's see if we get a... Nah, not yet. So let's talk to our friend, uh, the Martian Manhunter. Oh no, it was a faint. What's your worry? Are oh, you trying to attack the tumba? Or. 
Taco mine is crazy. Almost there. Oh, there we go. Let's get this little barrel here to help us out. between the Atlanteans and the surface world has weakened both your peoples. The damage is done. Cersei's cruel lie. Now that Queen Mara is again at his side... I sense 
Ancestors who still lie in this endeavor. You must stop this invasion where it begins. Martian Manhunter will meet you below the abandoned shipyards. I am Arthur, Perhaps together you can king of the seven seas, and restore ruler of the vast ocean empire of Atlantis. We got a few upgrades. I'm gonna be happy about that. And we got mail. So let's get out of here. And let's complete this mission. Um, not really an upgrade. A man is freed from Cersei's cruel lie. Now that Queen Mera is again at his side, the war between land and sea should end. So we've got a little undead situation at the University of Gotham. Felix Faust's mages are draining souls from students. Ah, wrong button. Played uh, a bit too much uh, Destiny before. Let's destroy this broker bot. And let's go back to our base to re re-imprint our armories. Essentially, the game gives you a few things like uh, repair bots, bro broker bots as you as you level up. Uh, things like mailbox or broker bots. I I. I Pretty much delete those. At some point, I would keep them, thinking uh, I might be useful at some point, and and I ended up never using them. If there was a portable uh, mail bot that you can actually carry around, like a like the like the portable uh, workstation, if if there was such a thing, okay, sure, uh, it would make some sort of sense. But. Uh, a, uh, a mail bot is a consumable? Nah, I don't think so.
I guess they were trying to figure out ways to try to make some money from a free-to-play game. So I can't can't really blame them. But still, uh, I would not buy uh, broker bots or mail bots. That's uh, it's a bit crazy. Oh. Uh, Got the main reason why I was doing this. And let us see. Maybe we'll be able to get a Maybe it might be worth it to get a few, a few white mods. We'll see. And maybe some new cola as well. Uh, we do have access to the cola, so soda cola supreme. So let's go in here. And use that instead. That's a fairly nice upgrade from uh, 1977 to 2542 up to 24 to 3085. So I'll I'll take it. Sadly, it means they're reimprinting again, but uh, it's a small price to pay. And let's see, is it worth it to get white mods? Uh, we would have for the neck. And the neck and the chest. Oh, why the hell not? I guess I'll have to shop around for mods, uh, or maybe I should look, uh, I may have a character or two who does have some extra mods, well, we'll see. So we'll get the next piece, the next piece which is uh, the one I usually get is fortified blocking, uh, for various reasons. Essentially it gives a bit more survivability to my, uh, to my characters. And for quite some time, uh, around the time when uh, Alls of Power was released, uh, or even before that, I was uh, I was almost able to tank uh, using my controller thanks to that mod. So I could I could essentially just uh, hold block and uh, hope that the the healer would keep me alive. And the penetrating strike ignores 33% uh, of the uh, of the, uh, the enemy's defense, so that's always a good thing. And hopefully, as we get uh, newer pieces of gear, uh, we'll be able to use our other mods. But just those two mods uh, should be uh, quite an upgrade for for our character. Well, probably we could, at this point we could have done. Uh, we could have done the missions uh, anyways without those mods, but it's it's uh, it's pretty much the, some of the first mods that I I buy usually anyways, so I might as well buy it right now. And uh, I think this is where I have to go for 
the zombie missions. Well, let's go take uh, this mission first. Hi, I'm Booster Gold, and welcome to Exploration Adventures with... Essentially, I'm taking this first, because if I take it after uh, I take the other mission, odds are I'll, uh, it will unselect the, the, the mission from my quest tracker. So, Captain Marvel, let's meet Hello. Captain Marvel. And he did a pretty good job uh, with the look of the character. Maybe the color is a bit off, if you ask me, but uh, it's a it's a, or a small nitpick. Thought I heard something. Uh, must be my imagination. There's usually a side mission right over here, so let's go and get that. So that will be it for now. So next time uh, we're going to start uh, our missions uh, fighting uh, zombies. No, oh, before we here we go, may as well pick this up. So next time uh, we will we will uh, go f we will fight a a truckload of zombies and undead and uh, magicians and all that good stuff. So uh, hopefully I'll see you then. Until next time, bye bye.